Hi everyone, I am doing another video on an e-file removal. I had a couple more requests, people wanted to see it again. So this is my lovely client who has a super fun design that we did last time. Um, a stamping design with some Aurora silver kind of dabbed in there. So fun. Did you enjoy these? I did. Yeah, they're really fun. So I'm going to turn on my Valentino and I'm going to use, of course, sanding band, which is what I always use. Work from the top down. And then I'm going to come over on the side and I pull the skin back very carefully on the side. And then go up around the cuticle like this, staying on the nail so that you don't create any rings of fire. And then come down the side. It looks like she's got a little bit um, right here that's missing. So when I do her fill, I'm going to go ahead and put a form on there and fix that. You never know what happens with that kind of stuff, but it happens in the real world. So we will fix it. I'm going to be taking this down pretty thin. I don't want to have a lot of bulk on the nail because when I apply my next coat of clear, I want to make sure that the nails are going to stay thin. So I'm going to be taking down all of her color and any bulk that I see so that she has a nice thin nail. Like we're missing a little notch right there, so we'll be fixing that. And my speed is up pretty high when I'm working down the nail because I don't want to stay in the same place very long. When you stay in the same place for a long time, that's what you get heat from. Also, if you're using a medium sanding band, you have to stay in the same place a lot longer because it's going to take you a lot longer to get the product off the nail. So using a medium, you might feel like it's a little bit safer, but in reality, because you're having to spend longer on the nail, you're going to end up getting more heat. So I am a big fan of using a coarse fan and getting that off. Five pretty black and white nails. I like this design. It was fun. And uh, she is going to be using um, that mixture of glitter that I did yesterday um, when I talked about uh, or the other day I guess it wasn't yesterday when I talked about how to mix glitter me and so she has requested that new custom mixture of glitter so we're gonna go ahead and do a glitter fade on her with that um, custom glitter so maybe we will film it and you guys can see how it turns out Coming up around the cuticle. This is a surgical scrub brush. They're um, completely Submersible, disinfectable, they're awesome. They're buck or a buck fifty at Love Nails, so that's nice to have. Alright, next hand for you. Thank you. Isn't this pretty? I love that design. It's so pretty. <laughs> and the white we used on her is dreamy. Um, it was uh, it's a it's not as bright as polar. It's kind of in between polar and pure, but it has this su most subtle little bit of shimmer to it. It's really pretty. So it was dreamy with some black stampin' on it. And how's the length on these today? Not too grown out. They look like they can grow a whole lot. Mm -hmm. They probably do. Okay. I thought so. I'm getting into the holidays. People like to wear their nails a little bit longer, I find, when it comes closer to the holidays. So looking down the barrel, you guys can see that it's quite thin. You want to get rid of most of that bulk there. See how thin that application is? 
You want to get rid of a lot of that stuff. So it's basically just the natural nail there um, with just a little bit of gel protecting it. When I do her fill, that gel is going to coat over the whole nail again. So if I don't remove um, any bolts, then I'm just going to end up making nails thicker and thicker every time they come in. So I want to make sure I'm removing uh, some of the product as, it, as they come in so that you just continue to always have a nice thin application. That's what you know helps people feel like it's their own natural nail that's just stronger and not a fake nail is because you're able to keep the application thin when you do this um, technique where you pair this very thin layer of hard gel with these gel colors. The gel colors add a lot of strength all by themselves and that allows you to have a nice strong nail without having it be a very thick nail. speed's up high enough. If you work with a really low speed, you end up having to be on the nail quite a bit longer. So you don't want to work your speed too low. Just learning to control it. When I first used an electric file, it took me a long time. I was a hand filer for a very, very long time. And um, my good friend Vicki Peters said, shut up and do it. And so I took a couple of classes from her and from others. And I just started with shortening the nail and learning how to control the e-file when you shorten. Um, and then I did a lot more back fills back then, so I would take the white of the back fill off. And I just did that for the longest time. I didn't do anything else. And I still don't do any finished filing um, with an electric file. If I do a full set or something, um, or a back fill, I'm still going to finish file by hand. I just, I feel like I get it much more um, control and shape specific using electric, uh, hand file. So. There we go, there's a quick removal, now it's just ready for prep and reapplication. Hope you guys enjoyed this little quick tutorial. See you later.